first thing first, I got to talk about the Mandela effect, right? So it's, it's for some reason, everybody think that I did a breakdown of the white room freestyle I did last year or whenever I did that. It never happened. It doesn't exist. I don't even know why I be seeing this. I be seeing this in the comments. Like, Michelle Show did a breakdown. His, I never did that. Where's this video? Show me this video. It never happened. I, I wouldn't do no breakdown on my own song, even though I'm not against it. As long as it's entertaining and it's content, I don't care. Nigga, it ain't no rules for entertainment. That's cool, right? Because I say that because I seen Pegasus breaking down his his verses and his battles and I was watching it and I was entertained so it's like I see people in the comments like he, he breaking down his own bars like man this is content it's hard enough to come up with stuff and we complaining about people breaking down their own song so that's the first thing right what I did was react to other people reacting to me which I always do that's what I do that's literally what I do I react to everybody that react to me or try to get to everybody so I, I don't know what's up with that. Um, but anyway, once again, <laughs> we got Black Pegasus reacting to um, Can't Escape the right, uh, White Room diss against him. So I'm reacting to him. I mean, this is like what we do. I, I don't know where the disconnect is, is at with that and how serious people take these YouTube rules of what you can and can't do. So here we go. We got, <laughs> I, know, I know him. He go keep it real. He probably, you know, the line sprinkled in as high. He go say they hot. And then, you know, the flow, which is, you know, I, I don't flow. I just hate on beat. I kind of just be talking like battle rap. So, you know, I, I pretty much know what's coming. Only one of us can leave here. In order to escape. In order to get yeah. my life back. I need that soul, Pegasus. I got to get you. See the you and me, not really black, definitely not a Pegasus. <laughs> Yo, welcome <laughs> to Pegasus vs. the World, where we take on challenges. Com Got a new setup. I like the setup. See, y'all shit so professional, man. Like, and who is this geek? Who is this dweeb sitting next to you? Like, he need to go so we didn't ask for him. Comedy trending topics and some travel. Today we're in the new 40-year-old FUQ Boys podcast studio, and we're about to check out Michelle's show. Um, the White Room, which I think this is dedicated to me and the one and only Anthony Ray. Hello. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, beautiful. I mean, th thanks for letting me be a guest on your new channel. Hey. You keep talking about these challenges, though, bro. You're not so only a guest in this, you're a guest in hip hop. <laughs> thanks for letting me in. You know what I mean? Thanks for letting oh. me behind these closed doors. Uh -huh. But this is my challenge to you. What's Let's that? do a try not to laugh challenge. Nah, to I, gotta, I show. gotta laugh, man. I just got I don't want because if I try not to, there will be parts I won't because I'm so serious and I'm like I want to enjoy this, man. I know. This is my I time, know. bro. I know. This has been building up. This bit. This dude's been edging me for how long? <laughs> now I. Get I know to he keeps talking. Not that long though. Not that long. Don't flatter your goddamn self, Black Pays. It not that fucking long, my nigga. Like what? about the white room and now you get to skeet that white this all one, over the exactly. room exactly i get to put the white in the white room man i've been waiting for this climax this is the day you guys anyways uh <laughs> let's get into it um this is a michelle show and so this is the thing there's something about this because i don't watch cartoons i don't do all that shit. i just know certain references you know what okay. i'm saying but there's this movie or book or freaking cartoon called the notebook because style bender, like they put a name in it and someone died, blah, blah, blah. And I have that feeling that the white room is like, oh, he he had to like sell a piece of his soul to go in the white room to take our soul. Like it's like a like this, there's some lore to it. There's lore to it. And okay. his fans love this shit. So uh, like I don't know what's going on, but we're going to find out. So I want to say something. And, and before we watch the video, I want everybody to pay attention with this thought in mind. This the whole video can't escape the white room. It's a black Pegasus and AR disc, but the whole video is about another storyline. <laughs> and I say it's so much shit sprinkled between old videos. Now I know people don't really pay attention because you don't watch all my videos, but it's a it's a whole nother storyline. You know, I can't say too much, but it's it don't really have nothing to do with black Pegasus or AR at all. So that's that. Anyways, um, Let's see. I guess this is the response to erectile dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> is he going to rap? Was he putting some bars together, dude? I don't know what to expect. Oh, you don't? I ain't going to tell you then because I've seen some of his white rooms before. Okay. All right, here we go. Only 
one of us can leave here in order to escape <laughs> in order to get my life back i need that soul pegasus gotta get you. it's either you or me not really black definitely not a pegasus you a has been about to fuck up your own legacy yeah. trying to make why would i give it up goop dooba is that the nigga i'm beefing with no i'm not giving it up unless you're talking about rapping i've been gay that up Contain relevance. let me break down the evidence my ego bigger than the ele <laughs> you know. nigga almost said it just for the hell of it you used to battle but i'm way better than what you've been against Pay attention. what you want to be is different than what you represent your record label is not producing no record spins <laughs> you're president of a company that's irrelevant Garbage. so you the current Hey, the head bobs though, that beat crazy, man. I tell you. CEO of Brass Knuckle Entertainment. Yeah. A trash label with not one artist that ever made it. Not even halfway famous. No clicks or engagement. But claim you on a beach getting head? Explain it. <laughs> the procrastination is ruining the nation. Yeah. yeah, you got a bunch of subscribers, Pause. but don't get confused. Pause that. Don't run through. Pause that. Talk about that, nigga. Uh, hey, let's talk about the artist in your record label. What? What? I ain't now, you know? Placing. <laughs> This is actually hilarious. Uh, he's kind of going in, and he's got some digs, man. I mean, I, I I'm your friend, <laughs> and I love you, <laughs> Look, but I but I gotta be honest, bro. I'm Damn. wearing a brass knuckle entertainment shirt with you, the hat to match. Don't look at my hairline, but with the hat to match. Are you, you the CEO of nonsense <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's better than Sean John. <laughs> Message. Facts. It's like this is what happens when you don't bend over for the man. You know yeah, what I mean? This is, this is they what, block you out this, the system. This is what a rap career looks like. Everyone else. When you don't get when you don't go in through the, the back island. door. They're on the island doing weird demonic shit. This is what real rap looks like. Yeah. Please. He's taking my soul right now, bro. He is. Um, okay, the elephant D bar. I loved how he just stopped yeah. it though. <laughs> yeah. Cause yo, and this is just funny because he said the head on the beach line is hilarious because what happened was uh well, I think this was on Instagram in a stories. Oh yeah, and he was like, I I did the dish I dropped the diss track. Uh -huh. And I guess he was at work when it dropped. So he's like, he did a stories and was like you're lucky I'm at work right now. Da, 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 da. And, <laughs> and you said talking. something about, you know, yeah. you're at work and I'm getting head on the beat. Yes, exactly. Yes. Because it's just like I've been taking digs at them because they've been dissing my credentials and my accolades that pay for my full lifestyle. You say I've been doing it. I did it one time on that one video and that was an honest reaction. It was not to take no dig at you, even though I wanted to hate anyway because you ain't do the live right. But if you would have spit fire, I would have said you spit fire, regardless of how petty I want to be and how much I I want to hate if you would spit fire so like all this taking digs at you nigga you keep bunching me and daughter up man we not the same person we not together me and daughter are not in a clique like i say i met that nigga when i met all y'all motherfuckers down there man like i say you not so much because i met you like last year or, or or heard of you like actually this year i, I don't know but you, you get what i'm trying to say and living yeah, yeah, yeah. while they still have day jobs but I, people think i'm dissing blue collar workers i'm like me and you did construction together, bro. Blue collar work. I had to work three jobs to get to get to this rap shit, but that's hey, all another hey, story. Hey, Respect hey. to the blue collar worker. What? Do you do you think you could just shut your mouth for a minute and play this clip? That was like I can hear you get roasted. Yeah. Because I love this actually. See, this is good this friends. Is great. This is how good friends treat you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, man. I called you a dweeb too soon. You still is, but like I say, I like what you talking about. You you putting it down over there. Pause. Mm -hmm. I just wanted. Got to the nerve to be bragging about going on vacation. Your life crumbling and you worried about relaxation? It's your priority trigger. Show me one record label payment or anything else than a negative bank statement. That's why you're so affected by my hating. Why is that? Because you just another failed business owner. You tubing in this basement. <laughs> Robert Houston. Nigga, fuck Houston. I'm Hurricane Barrel. I come through and flood Houston. You a bitch. You don't get no love, Houston. It'll be another Astro World tragedy and it'll crush Houston. Okay, you gotta pause it right there. You gotta pause it right there. That's a bar. Dude, I don't care what anyone says. Fuck y'all. He is doing a way better job than Dada. He he's stomping on Dada, in my opinion. Like maybe his flow and all that, but I feel See, this is the thing. Y'all seeing it, but I, I I'm I'm gonna break down why my rapping is so polarizing. Some people think it's fire and some people think it's trash. It's because it's just it's better rap. I'm better rapping to a beat. I'm not rapping. I'm not flowing. I'm not trying to sound cute. It's not going to be no auto tune. Nothing is going to be sound melodic, you know, melodic, whatever I'm trying to say, right? It's basically kind of like an acapella 
battle rap because battle rap is not flow. Battle rap is bars, right? So the people, I, I, I want to say it's a certain demographic, like older people compared to younger people because younger people want to flow and they want to hear all that, which I just put at the end and show nigga, it's not hard to flow, but that's not the purpose. I thought this was better. I thought this was bars, right? So it's just so polarizing. The people that want better rapping bars, they're going to say it's hot. People want flow and, and, you know, actually rapping good, which I wasn't doing. Uh, they just going to not like it. They're going to say it's trash, which is it's sitting somewhere in the middle leaning more toward i think it's leaning more toward trash if i'm being honest with myself but i i don't know because i didn't put my all into it i try to rush this shit out i was more concerned about the video and telling the story too so i don't know i, I gotta listen again I feel like he's coming up with may, way more punchlines way more concepts related to you this that is dig the, a little bit deeper this is the thing in dada's first two yes but in dada's third dada went he, he snapped in his third round and but the, he is going crazy with this scheme and this subject matter. He's going deep. This is this is fucking good. But the beat is trash, and so is the quality of the recording. That's just me keeping it a buck. But he's going in. He's not Lyrically. claiming to be a rapper though. That's I know, the I difference. Know. I'm, I didn't say he was. That's why he's in the white room. Look, you see this? I'm gonna tell you something. I, I got a challenge for anybody. Record a song with this. Just just try. Record a song with Lollipop Mike. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just talking into that motherfucker. No mixing, no mastering. But he did claim. This no, is no, my hold point. On, hold this on, is my hold point. On. Dada is claiming to be a rapper, and he's getting schooled by a dude who does it part time. That's my point. Yeah, but I do want to say this. This is what got most of this started too. Was Michelle kept saying he would beat me and Anthony rapping. That's what he kept saying. That's what he kept saying. So here he <laughs> okay, is. Okay, running back just a little bit because. Now, you being cute, you being tricky, you being slick. I went in your comments and said, when I be talking shit like that, that is just shit talk. I don't even like rap. It's not fun. I don't want to do that. That's Anytime I talk about battling somebody, it's shit talk. You know, if enough people, if a thousand people telling me to do it, do it, do it, I listen to the subscribers. So I, I broke down and I just did the dumb shit, right? But I told you this. Don't be trying to flip it like it's something else, man. I want to Damn, hear. I might have to respond to this, bro. Nigga, I've been bad. I feel like I've been battling for three years right now. This is crazy. About you men in the state, nose rings, prisons everywhere, feminine traits, traits. both hands on your hips. That's a spit in the face. face. To every mask in the alpha male living. Oh, is he talking about Anthony Ray? Now? In I think crush so. Houston. Let's talk about you men in the states. states. Nose rings, prisons everywhere. Feminine traits. traits. Both hands on your hips. That's a spit in the face. face. To every mask in the alpha male living the day. Like why you new generation punks crossing lines up. Transgender wanna be. You need to make your mind up. The type of shit that I really can't stand. How you let somebody named Michelle teach you how to be a man? <laughs> Six seconds, I'm speaking to you. This is not no subliminal, no need to break down clues. We got anybody can get it on pick and choose. Nah. But we know he won't respond because he'll lose. Yep. He a bitch. bitch. A lot of y'all tough now. Yeah, it's my fault. They can try to copy the recipe, but missing the sauce. Look, Avengers, just say y'all lost before I scramble up the whole podcast and let the AR talk. God. <laughs> Hey, look, I'ma teach you how to Photoshop. Heard you diss and laughed at you. Nigga, this is where the joking stops. But he really think he Iron Man. Fuck that nigga. He didn't watch our live either, so he wouldn't get that one like a lot of people don't. But like I say, I don't be breaking down my shit. It just let it go. The people who get it, get it. The people don't, don't. I, I don't know why people talking about I've been breaking down my shit. No, he not. Pull up and leave his whole body full of metal. Now you can be Robocop. Black Pegasus and Anthony Ray. Two hoes. But I did like that line you used about me sucking toes. Yep. But look, niggas who try to turn heel get exposed. Because if you touch defeat in here, it's going to cost you your soul. Why you bringing up Dada when you should be focused on me? What's up with you, Black? This battle won't be easy as you would hoping it be. I promise you that. Cliff Beats fans, AR fans, everybody watching, hoping I lose. The whole internet pussy. This is a fallopian tool. You can't escape the white room. You ask for this. <laughs> <laughs> it's all fun and games until a nigga's soul get trapped. Uh, just, just, all right, watch the end of this video. Just watch the end. Watch what's happening. Uh, I'm yeah. better than you. Man. 
You know, it's funny is he dissed a gang of uh, 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 of just YouTubers too in there in that one little scheme. Yeah. I just think it's funny when he said feminine traits. He put a picture of me dressed like him. Like I, when I did the whole. Uh, Nigga, you ain't dressed like me. You had a wig on. Don't be, don't be getting insecure about it, cause I got your ass with that. With nigga, you had a wig on. That's just like everybody be getting on the the demasculization. Damn, what's the word? Y'all know what I'm trying to say. A uh, men, especially black men in Hollywood, hip hop, and all this other stuff, is a whole thing about people wearing dresses, wigs. Look what Knox Hill was doing in there. That you weren't dressed like me, nigga. I ain't never wore a wig. I got dreadlocks. You you wasn't dressed like me. That's cute. I know what you were trying to do, but I flipped it on you. It's cool. It's okay. You know? It's okay. You know? Give it up for Black Pegasus. <laughs> A Michelle show yeah. joint? But it's funny. I mean, he snapped. Directed by Crip's mom. <laughs> written by Cliff Beats. This nigga snapped. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Um. Okay. Okay. I see what he did there. I, I appreciate the dopamine rush. Um, you know, just like last year when I did, I reacted to everybody that did it, and I just got unlimited dopamine, especially from Red Top. Man, if, 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 I, I probably ain't going to do nobody else except for, like, if April do it or Red Top. If one of them do it, then I, I react to theirs. Because they they, they just, he going to break down everything. Because Red Top, I, he, he even going to reach for me and give me bars that I didn't, didn't even mean. And you know, I'm here for that all day. Make up some shit for me. Like, 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 like make my shit have five meanings when it was just a simple bar. I ain't give it up for red top reactions. Come on, man. <laughs> um, do I respond? That's the question right now. Listen, you can respond all you want. I'm not rapping no more. So I just did that as a come back to your diss at me and Anthony Ray's diss at me. That's why, you know, I put both of y'all in there. But go for it. I'm going to react to it. And if you went crazy and you killed me, even though you already did, <laughs> nigga, you don't even have a soul right now. You sold it. So I know you probably ain't going to be able to come with nothing, but I say I react to it. I think, so I told people this. I did it uh, on my other channel, Pegasus vs. The World, where that's probably where you'll see this. I did this thing called the war room where I was talking about rap strategies. And I said, I took the biggest risk because I responded with a battle rap to commentary. The person who goes first has the disadvantage. The person who can respond has the advantage. Yeah. Cause he got something to play off. And he has all this ammo and look at how long, like he's been writing this. This didn't just come out. Like he's taken weeks to come up with this, but he's not a rap. Don't do that. Don't do that. See, now when you when you come with this, you, you it's like you giving me more credit than I actually deserve, my nigga. That shit was rushed like a motherfucker. The the shit that took the most time is obviously editing a video because I'll be working all day. So I had to take time like before work or like I say, sacrifice sleep after work and edit that motherfucking video and put that shit all together. Like I say, that's what took the time. The writing was fast. You know what I'm saying? rapper that was fire i'm giving him his flowers he came up with this but he's not a rapper that was fire i'm giving him his flowers he fucking snapped yeah i mean and it, maybe I'll, i might respond just for the pure entertainment factor but i do feel like a response for that needs to be different i don't need mm -hmm. to just write a record it needs to be different but i don't want to get too much into that because if i decide to do it which i don't know if i'm going to it should be a surprise you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, I mean, at the end of the day, like I've obviously been observing all this as your friend and like business partner, all that, yeah, and yeah, make yeah. content together. Like, you know, I've seen all this playing out. I did not know about Michelle until the beef. Then I started watching his content and I was like, yo, he's actually funny. He's got a great personality, great edits, <laughs> right? And the difference to me yeah. is that with Dada, I feel like there's genuine hatred. And I'm just like, why are you focused on other, uh, other people? Focus yeah. on yourself, get better, put out good music. That's all you need to do. It seems like, you know, I just don't like his whole vibe and personality from what I've seen personally. You know, that that's my take. The difference with Michelle is that I sense like humor. He's willing to make fun of himself. He's willing to be self-deprecating. He seems to be having fun with it. And yeah. that's why I enjoy it because I'm like, yo, 
that that is dope that's what we need we don't need to be actually having beefs with people and actually be angry with people over youtube that's ridiculous to, I, I, to me I, I mean yeah i do be getting mad and throwing fits sometimes but i'm always bring it back to the content somehow but yeah she do be making me mad because i'm like when i seen him comment that on the cliff beats when you like cliff beats going ham and showing receipts he wasn't going ham and he didn't show no receipts all that was fake we all know that i think you know that you're taking up for your boy but i'm like man stay out of our shit you know what i'm saying just be for real stay out of our shit because this is about the truth and who lying we're trying to get to the bottom of it he didn't do that he showed fake shit from a year ago that we already knew he showed screenshots of people responding to who they thought was me but was a bot that's the whole point y'all feel for a bot anthony ray same thing why did you feed him fake sarcastic information from dls come on man i told you we kissed and make i, I said we kissed and make up. I'm all. I'm obviously manipulating them and trying to split up the podcast. That's what I did live. If, all you gotta do is watch me and Anthony Ray live, and you can see I'm playing on that and continuing to do that. He know that. What? What is? Why are they so anxious to help Cliff and try to get me out of there? Like he told us, man, make a good piece. Get your evidence together, man. So you just like why are you involved? Why do Cliff need y'all help? If he he know if it was me or not, just show if it was me. You know it's not. Like what, what's all with all this shit trying to help people lie? After my battle with Dada, um, me and him had a private conversation, and I'm not a person who puts up. I try not to put up screenshots or like tell certain things. But what I will say from this private conversation we had, um, he showed respect for me jumping in the ring, which I didn't know he would do. Yeah, and he also showed some signs where I was like. This dude is just a rapper. Like he loves rap. Mm -hmm. He really loves rap. Um, he was massively respectful, and this wasn't any more than a rap competition. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was like, I personally respected what he said. And I, you know me, I'm like super straightforward with people. Yeah, yeah. And I'm actually open. Like I'd be like on some granddad shit for like, mm -hmm. like hey man, da 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 da, trying to give cats game and shit. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there. Uh, it was a good battle. This. Oh man, I struggle not responding. Y'all seen me? I just one show thing up. that I will say is they don't want to compare bank accounts or are you oh, oh, <laughs> dude, oh, when oh, he was oh, calling you out oh. on your a failed business. I just oh, have to say hey. this: I've known you a long time. <laughs> People do not want to share bank accounts. Yes, we do. Get off that nigga dingling. Yes, we do. We can take big bank, take little bank, my nigga, and you can take the ten dollars that I got in mind if you want to. They don't want to share YouTube monetization. And, you don't want to. You don't niggas, even want to do that. Niggas be chirping, but he don't know what I might do is put it on my stories. I have these old uh, royalty statements for when I was really rapping, rapping from BMI. My publishing, because I was on MTV, not my like my music was on all the reality shows. It was on Road Rules, you know, all that shit. And yeah. I have bank statements of BMI checks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I <laughs> this is how you know I got them. I got him. Yeah, you yeah, you gotta respond. Just this part right here, you got you gotta respond. Don't think about not. You gotta respond, my nigga. I got you got them breaking up bank statement. <laughs> nigga, that line affected your ass. I got personal. I hit deep on his ass. This nigga talking about showing receipts and bank statements. Damn. Give it up for Michelle show. Oh my God, that's, that's, that's what happened when you get personal, nigga. I was direct and personal. I can't rap, but I was direct and personal, nigga. I knew something was going to hit. And then they, they showed me one record label payment. what I say? It's something like that, right? Oh, man. I, okay, show it then. I mean, cats get it twisted, but then again, I can't put my full financial situation out there yeah. until a few years where I, yeah. then I can be like, yo, this is how you get here. You can buy this course. I got one more thing to say. <laughs> you know I got one saying, more thing to say, because once again, right. you know, you're the hey, homie. That, that's so, that's so real. like, that, that's real. Hey. you're the homie, right, so I got to, you know, step up because like the whole thing about them bringing up like the workers, he's not trying to diss workers. I know where you're coming yeah. from with this. The thing that, and this bothered me too, is like when Dada comes out. It don't matter what you're trying to do. If you say you out slaving at a nine to five while I'm on vacation getting head, it don't matter what your intent was. That is dissing workers. That's basically saying that all workers are slaves. Now, whether you right or not, 
that's another story. You know what I'm saying? Because like I say, it didn't even affect me that much. It's just an angle that I can use. Now you got to defend yourself about it. You know what I'm saying? This is why I say that I be doing psychology in chess because I'm smarter than this nigga. I'm smarter than Black Pegasus. It is what it is, nigga. Hey, I do want to go live, though. I seen the last video. Everybody was talking about the live. You was talking about the live. They was even talking about playing chess on the live. I spank you, my nigga. I hit your ass with a fool's mate real fast says you're not a real rapper it's like who has been living off a of rap for 20 years maybe you because you don't drive a ferrari or yeah. have a giant gold chain that, or that go makes, to islands and have parties with meek mill yeah, that, yeah. That, that, then you're not a real rapper yeah. but you quit this is a bad look all this because of a line i said this is a bit y'all explain I, i'm telling i'm gonna be for real i was doing parody and kind of playing but i spanked your ass i won i beat you my nigga i'm sorry <laughs> you're, i was there for it mm -hmm. We were making Nobody music together, and you were my like, "My nigga, fuck you, nigga. Nobody cares what you was. Did them thick ass glasses, my nigga. Nobody gives a fuck." Yo, I'm going full time, so I respect you for that because you followed your dream. So when somebody <laughs> comes out and says you're not a real ra real rapper, it's like, hey, this is the way I look at it. You are a security guard who raps. You are not a real rapper. The moment that you quit your job and go full time into rapping, then you become a rapper. That's the way that I look at it. Like I'm not a Uber YouTuber. I'm like a part time YouTuber. That's not my full career. You know what I mean? So it's not hating on anybody working the day jobs. Like that's what I do. I work in construction yeah. still. You yeah. know what I mean? But it's just like, put some respect on the damn name because it's like, you get to be called a rapper because you quit your job 20 years ago to rap full time. And think about this, the flip on it is super ironic because what did I do? I ain't even gonna comment on that. That's that's what make you a rapper because you quit your job to do it. What about the bums that don't got no job in doing it? Like, like, like what the hell are you talking about? Niggas living off Fool's Towns in Section 8 rapping. What, I, so quitting your job, dude. You, you can be a successful rapper and sign a uh, like a thirty two million dollar deal, and you still can work somewhere. Does that mean you're not a rapper? I don't, I don't get where you're going. Even though I wasn't working a nine to five job, I was uh, let's say a slave to the rhythm. I took the risk to become an entrepreneur, and and I was in debt for ten years of my life. I get it. It's content, y'all just talking, y'all chatting. But nigga, I'm taking this as I affected you that much. You explaining your whole life, nigga, over the bar, over my first couple warm up bars, my nigga. Them was warm up bars, man. I'm better than this nigga, man. I yes. struggled eating nachos, drinking yeah. grape drink and hot dogs and yeah. rice, um, just to make my dreams come true. And so, where is the v validation in that, right? What's the difference? between me struggling there and nine to five workers struggling again every nine to five worker should be trying to seek financial freedom and independence because yes. it will set your soul free this is just the truth Thanks. and yeah. so i'm not knocking you because i was that and even yeah. when i first quit I, I say oh i quit my day job to become a rapper that shit was a day job and it didn't pay well it yeah. took a long time for me to get some legs but i understand it and the other thing is he's right my uh, uh, a label did kind of fail, but what I would like to say is I put all my niggas on tour and let them see and have moments and memories that most people will never see because we had our rock star lifestyle, like, yeah. you know, being on tour, selling CDs, signing autographs, you know. Yeah. Nigga, you did not sign no autograph. Stop that. Anybody show me a black Pegasus signed autograph, I'm going to send their ass a care package with about $5 million in that motherfucker. Stop it. Stop this, man. You were, how you living? Nigga, you a, you a failed CEO YouTubing in his basement right now, my nigga. I painted the picture and everybody going to be talking about it for the next 30 years. So like I say, you going to have to rap. Fuck all this explaining, nigga. You got to rap. And I want to see a video. I get, You got to come on with it. You got to, nigga, set your soul. Nigga, your soul is trapped. Nigga, what? This is insane. I, I bodied this. Thing. I ain't never whooped on nobody like this. This this my biggest <laughs> if you if you think I lost this battle even with me playing I swear to God you you just don't fuck with me you just fuck with him which I I gotta support that too it is what it is you know I mean regardless there's a lot like of cool this... things that happen that there's no amount of money that even matters because I got to live the shit you see in movies yeah. legitimately you know yeah. what I'm saying so it is what it is and I'm an underground rapper I know? mean and look what we got here you guys can't see it at all but we have one of the only studios in Colorado Springs we have one of the I this might be... alright man y'all got it man y'all got it it's a, let's see what y'all end this week we had a little more I'd give him maybe an edge like we're dead coming I was like oh
that Houston scheme, um, um, Sue, because he, I thought it was a really good angle. Hold on, let me go back. Podcasting studio that we're going to be opening up, you know, two people to help them. Before we get out of here, let's think about how I dug at him. I thought it was a really good angle. It was hit deep and it hit harder because he admitted this is true. The whole Michelle show, mm -hmm. um, um, Sue, the the boy named Sue. Yeah, I thought that Houston scheme was incredible. I didn't even see that coming. I was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? If I had to rank this, I'd be like, we're dead even. And I, because he had a little more, I'd give him maybe an edge and it, where I need to come back. But I do think we're really close and almost dead even. But uh, on that note, you guys, I got you, We not. I'm sorry. We not. We just not. It's like, nigga, I can do a poll. That shit might be 80-20, my nigga. But it's only really because... You really focus on Dada more. Let me give you credit, right? You kind of focus on Dada more. You kind of got me out of the way with my little bars quick, and you moved on and left me alone. That's really, if you would have spent the whole time focusing on me, then, you know, no, ain't no telling what would happen. So I can't, I ain't trying to just talk too much shit. This is just entertainment. This is content. This is let's keep it going, really. But if I'm going to be honest, what you brought, nigga, I'm, I'm above your motherfucking ass, my nigga, nigga, my nigga. I done flooded Houston, my nigga. Hey, nigga, you, <laughs> you right, you, you right now, YouTubing in your basement, my nigga. This is this is damn near embarrassing, my nigga. Yeah, you gotta come back, and you better come back fast, my nigga. Yeah.